back at it again with another cooking video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Lexi. Uh, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you're notified every time I come out with a new video. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. Today we're going to be making a whole chicken in the crock pot. I've already come and prepared most of it so it could be a quick video so you can just get to the point because this is a simple and easy recipe. So let's get into this video guys. So first I want to talk a little bit about some of the ingredients that I have um, that we're going to be using to season the chicken. Uh, I like to season my chicken with uh, chicken bouillon. I know, weird, right? Season a chicken with chicken seasoning. Uh, obviously some salt. We're gonna be using some seasoned pepper. Lemon pepper, because I'm going for a lemon pepper type of chicken. Um, we're gonna be using some olive oil pan spray. Lemons, and I love Goya seasoning. I use the culandro and achote. So that's pretty good. And of course, the star of the show, I've already given her a quick rinse. This is the kind of chicken that we're gonna be seasoning today. It actually is gonna go in the crock pot. So um, your chicken is going to come with some gizzards and neck bone. It's okay, you don't need those for this recipe. Um, I'm actually going to boil them and give them to the dog. Uh, so she'll be getting a really yummy treat guys so um, when I clean when I clean the chicken I try to uh, get underneath the skin so I can uh, somehow get you know get that flavor in there you know what I'm saying so when I cleaned her out see how my finger can come under the skin so we're gonna get we're gonna be adding some ingredients in there guys so that this chicken can be super flavorful so let's get started. Let's get started to flavor. Let's do it! Let's try again. Let's get started seasoning. All right, so we're gonna be using um, this Pam spray to make sure everything sticks. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we need uh, garlic, fresh garlic. That's what's in this bowl that I've already cut up. Some fresh onion and um, some carrots. Some fresh carrots. So let's go ahead and give it. Now I'm using Pam spray because I feel like it's easier to uh, keep on the chicken. You know, it's easier to work with. Other than like if we were gonna use like a like a regular olive oil, it would just be dripping everywhere, guys. So we're not doing all that. Oh shit! Look how I opened it. It's not very good. So let's give her a nice tan. We want her to taste really good, guys. So make sure you evenly coat everything. Give her a nice tan. Give her a nice little, little spanking, little rub down. Make sure you give her some love. She's gonna taste real good. Yeah, make sure, make sure you give your chicken some love because that's the only way that you're gonna get that flavor. Now we're gonna go with some uh, salt. Be generous, okay guys? Cause this is a big, this is five pounds of chicken that we're using, that we're, we're cooking tonight. And you want to make it a point to season the inside because the inside is where all the flavors are going to be. I'm going to hit it with some caldo de pollo, the chicken bouillon. And go ahead and just spice it up in your hands, guys. That way, if you have a big container like this, it's not going to uh, all, all drench out. You know, you don't want a lot. This, this needs to last, you know? So, make 
make sure you get like again the inside underneath that skin because that's where all the flavor it really needs to be okay so now we got those flavorings we're gonna continue with the lemon pepper because this is like I said this is what we're going for the lemon flavoring now you want to get crazy with this lemon seasoning like get crazy with it love it you're gonna use like half the bar okay the lemon pepper is the shit So before you turn this bad boy back around, go ahead and put it right in the pot because you don't want to get all that liquid back where you just did all your seasonings. Okay, so go ahead and add some more. Now, we can either do this two ways, guys. Actually, we're just going to do it like this. We're going to take a few of the onions and put it underneath the skin. Okay, so we can have some flavoring underneath the skin. And we're gonna put a few inside, okay? And, but mainly, I want it around, I want it around the chicken, okay? Just like that. So you want it to look something like this, all right? Um, now, what I need to do is slice these lemons. I'm doing them in wills because I'm gonna put them underneath the skin. careful when you do that. That's why it's giving me a hard time. Make sure you get your labels off of your lemons because you definitely don't want to be eating them <laughs> in, in your food. Simple guys, super easy recipe. I think this whole, if you don't include the spices, this whole thing probably costs like six bucks to make. Your lemons you can get four for a dollar. Your the chicken was six bucks. Um, an onion costs a dollar. Carrot bag carrots cost a dollar. So like eight bucks for a whole meal. Okay, and you can have this since it's only two of us. You can have this like for days. This is something that you, you could probably meal prep. And these I'm gonna cut into quarters because I'm just going to leave them in the pot like that. We need flavor. This is why I'm doing that, okay? Save these little ends, because you can use those too. We're actually gonna be stuffing those underneath. And like I said, guys, we're going for a lemon chicken. So, um, also I'm gonna be adding a can of um, diced tomatoes. Uh, I know I didn't include that in the beginning, like I didn't include the vegetables, but bear with me guys, I'm trying to get just as good as making videos as my food is, okay? So <laughs> bear with me guys. I'm gonna add the tomatoes in there. thumbnail for that chicken and we're ready to go guys this is this this shouldn't take I mean the video is barely at seven minutes so you know 
We're doing freaking bomb on time. So let's see if we can over here. I have you guys in my car adapter. That's so cool right now. So got the crock pot over here. I want to cook this overnight, guys, so it's going to be on low. Okay, just put the lid on the top. Oh, don't forget to clean your edges, you know, because we don't want anybody to get happy and be coming over here tasting the edges of our rent. Bugs. And plus it looks nicer when you just have it clean, you know? Okay. And I have this little band over here that keeps the lid closed and tight, like kind of secure. And there you have it, guys. First chicken in the crock pot. So I would say cook it an hour for every pound, maybe. Um, this is my first time making it, so I'll just keep you posted, guys. I'm really wanting to let this cook overnight maybe eight hours on low just see how i think maybe that might be too so let's see how i really don't want to wake up in the middle of the night to check on it but i think i'm just gonna let it cook um hours might be too much. i don't know guys we'll see we'll see how it goes i'll probably be up till midnight but i'll keep you posted i'll i'll, I'll do like maybe a little video Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it was totally fun to make it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, if you did try it, go ahead and let me know. Let me know what you think about it. And if this was your first time making it, I'd love to know as well. Um, leave me some comments, guys. Drop me some recipes that you want me to uh, prepare for you. And I can, can't wait to make my next video. Um, Thank you to all of our new subscribers. I do have a few. Shout out to Kimberly. Um, Kimmy, thank you for subscribing. Um, there, there are a few more. Um, shit. Um, I know, I know, I know who you are. Well, I just can't think of at the top of my head. But thank you guys for um, subscribing. Thank you for being loyal. Thank you for being a follower. I truly appreciate the support. Again, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified every time that I come out with a new video. Um, I hope you guys are staying blessed during this time. I know it is super hard. Hang in there. We will get through this. Until next time, guys, I will catch you on the next video. Peace.